Coaches, this is Mike Kuchar, www.xandolabs.com. Our thanks goes out to Coach Mark Melnitsky, the offensive coordinator and offensive line coach at Trinity College in Connecticut for putting together his clinic report on the middle zone concept. And again, you coaches, you could gain full access to the report, including the full-length video at www.xandolabs.com by clicking on the green insiders tab. We're going to take you through uh, some clips of the middle zone concept. And coaches, you have to excuse us a little bit. There is some audio on this. Okay, so we'll go through it pretty quickly here okay in these few clips you're going to see the middle zone concept to the tight end wing surface as you're going to see up top to the field um this is what coach did is he kind of had a hybrid between the inside zone and outside zone technique um he had mentioned in his clinic report that a lot of times the backside end okay on zone schemes um would make plays okay by being a hill chaser by cutting things down cutting a split down and making plays he just didn't like the idea of cutting them off either with a backside weaker receiver or he wanted to find ways to run out of his single 11 personnel, still run the zone scheme, and he found a way to do this by his middle zone concept. So what you're going to see here, coaches, is Basically zone blocking with an outside zone aiming point. Coach talked about the inside leg of the guard being his aiming point on inside zone. Now with the middle zone concept, again, it's a mesh between the inside and outside zone. It's more of an outs inside leg of the tackle track for that ball carrier. Okay, they're working stretch blocking techniques, which Coach Melnitsky goes over very thoroughly in the clinic report on X and O Labs. And, co and, and they're just working on that track. They're inside taking over, as we'll see here. And again, everybody's working to take over. If you're covered, you're working to get to the outside armpit of the defender outside V the neck. If you're uncovered, you're working to stretch, okay, working back off on the up call. Okay, the wing has the force player. Tight end's working on the next C-gap threat, and you'll see the handoff here. Back finds a lane and makes something happen. Again, tight end wing surface now to the bottom of the screen. Really good play by the back here. And what you're doing is a tight end wing surface. You're creating another gap. So you have an A gap, you have a B gap, you have a C gap, you have a D gap, and you have an E gap. It's a five gap system with that wing there. Very, very proficient run scheme, especially at a single back, 12 or 11 personnel. Okay, we're working pretty good job. Watch this center. Does a really nice job working off to get that down lineman hooked here. Okay, excellent job by that center. Everybody's working on that angle. You don't have to worry about any backside pursuit because the play is hitting a little wider than the inside zone. Running back sees a crease and takes it. Now coach puts the wing to the boundary. Okay, and he's going to get some motion by that receiver. And again, you got that wing surface. It's a pretty good run to the wing surface to the boundary as well. You got a shift to an odd front there with a five and a zero technique. Big bubble in the A gap, big big bubble in the B gap. This is what you want here. You got a nine technique, which usually means the force players here. We're going to stretch here. Okay, he is going to work this way, especially once he gets that motion. The corner is going to come over. Really nice job by 69 working that bump. Okay, he's going to wait for that up call. Up simply means that the tackle of the uncovered line is going to work up to the next level. Really good footwork on the back. He's going to open up, cross over, and get downhill. Good cut back there. We want to show you this last clip to a three-man surface. Okay, now it's a trips formation. Okay, you're going to have that wing, the trips formation. It's out of gun. And Coach talks about a lot of different tags you could use with this concept out of gun. He does a real nice job varying some of the concepts in the middle zone principle.
And I think where this helps your coach is that now you got that fast flow action by that back. So it's very similar to outside zone, but again, the, the, the track is the inside hip of the tackle or inside leg of the tackle. Okay, everybody's working great job by that weak tackle. Okay, cutting that five technique off. We don't have to worry about him as much. You can read him. There are tags you could do with coach details in the report. Okay, but they're just opening it up. Okay, right now he's able to make that cut and get upfield. And that's the whole principle behind the play. Make one cut, get upfield. Very similar to the outside zone concept. And a big advantage there. Coaches, we appreciate you logging in to www.xandolabs.com. Again, insiders could gain full access to Coach Melnitsky, the offensive line coach and offensive coordinator at Trinity College in Connecticut. His full-length report, including all the adjustments he uses in the middle zone concept and the entire video that you're seeing here today as well. Coaches, thanks for logging in. As always, please feel free to contact us with any research ideas you may have.